So this is the uh, 2019 uh, Hyundai Nexo. It's a zero emission vehicle, uh, fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Fuel cell vehicle means the uh, electric vehicle, so the driving experience is similar to any uh, electric vehicle. The difference is you refuel with uh, compressed hydrogen at some of the stations available here in California. And you can refuel your vehicle in uh, three to five minutes. Uh, and this vehicle has a range of 380 miles. There's no uh, compression of any sort, so uh, the way the vehicle functions is it's making the electricity as it's driving uh, using that fuel cell stack. And uh, the way that works is uh, the hydrogen that is in the tank is basically moved forward into the uh, engine compartment and we take oxygen from the ambient air and make uh, those two elements mixed uh, uh, together in the stack. And what that does is it creates a chemical reaction that makes electricity, a little bit of heat and water. So the electricity goes to uh, move the vehicle, the motor, um, uh, and the, um, the water goes uh, through the tailpipe system, and that's what you get at the exit. The motor power is uh, 120 kilowatts, that's uh, 161 horsepower, and that power comes either from uh, the fuel cell stack itself, uh, up to 95 kilowatts, uh, and there's also a high voltage battery that can supply up to 40 kilowatt of power. So the, the battery and the stack will work together to supply power to the motor depending on your driving conditions. Definitely the idea is to minimize the drag of, uh, of any vehicle uh, if you want it to be more fuel efficient. So in, in this case for the styling there are some uh, kind of air curtain in the back of the uh, uh, of the vehicle uh, and also in the front to minimize any turbulence. Uh, there's also a, an under panel under the vehicle from the front to the back uh, to uh, have a laminate flow of air. Um, so the easier we go through the, uh, the air, the, the better it is for energy efficiency. So the, there's two different uh, trim levels. The um, what we call the blue trim level will get uh, 380 miles of range, uh, and uh, we have an ultimate uh, trim level that uh, will have 354 miles of range. So this is the uh, 2019 uh, Kona Electric, uh, that's the uh, battery electric version of the uh, Kona SUV. So there's a few uh, styling cues that will tell you it's an electric compared to, uh, to an internal combustion version of it. Uh, so the front fascia is uh, kind of more solid, there's not as need uh, of a need for cooling and uh, if we have a, a, a solid fascia we also have a better uh, aero performance for the vehicle. Uh, the front side also has a lid for the charging port. Uh, this is where you will uh, uh, recharge the vehicle uh, either at home or at a public infrastructure. You can charge the Kona at two different levels. So one that we call uh, level two, which is typically what you find uh, at home if you have uh, that electric capability. Uh, that's uh, charging at uh, 7.2 kilowatt of power which recharges the vehicle in about uh, nine and a half hours. Uh, also, the vehicle is available with fast charging, um, uh, which you can find uh, those chargers in the, in the, in the public. Uh, there, the battery is capable of charging up to 75 kilowatt hour. That translates into about 125 miles in 30 minutes, or 80% uh, of the battery in 54 minutes. The power, the motor is a 150 kilowatt motor, so that's a little over 200 horsepower, which uh, for that size of vehicle is uh, very generous. It is a front wheel drive uh, application, so yes, all the power goes to the front. Uh, 
so the vehicle is uh, capable of a 0 to 60 in 7.6 seconds, uh, and it's very dynamic and fun to drive. The vehicle is planned to be available uh, uh, mostly in, uh, on the west coast and, uh, and, uh, and east coast, uh, and eventually, uh, depending on demand, uh, this could expand.